Getting to know your new laptop. Hello and welcome to Conestoga. In this video, you will get to know your new laptop. We will look at a quick tour of the hardware and walk through the Windows 11 installation. For this demonstration, we are using a Dell Inspiron laptop with Windows 11 installed. Laptop Hardware Tour Webcam An HD webcam is located at the top of your computer's monitor. Ports Ports are the way to connect peripherals like a wireless mouse and keyboard or memory devices like an external hard drive or USB stick. On one side, you have the charging port. Then, you have an HDMI port and two USB ports, an Ethernet port, a standard headphone jack, and an SD card reader on the other side. Power button. The power button is located at the top right corner of the keyboard. Trackpad. You can use the trackpad instead of a mouse to control the cursor on your computer. Different gestures perform different actions. Windows 11 walkthrough. Please note, the steps in this walkthrough and the screens you see may differ depending on your specific device and the version of Windows 11 you are running. Power up your device. If it is not charged, plug in the charging cable to your laptop and a power outlet. Connect to Wi-Fi. If you are on campus, connect to the CC Secure Network with your Conestoga email address and password. If not on campus, connect to your preferred network with the appropriate security credentials. You do not need to connect to Wi-Fi if you have a wired connection. There is an option to click if you don't have an internet connection. This will result in a limited setup of Windows. Windows will check for any updates. Do not turn off your computer during these updates. You will be prompted with a Windows 11 license agreement. Please review the entire agreement and then click Accept when ready to proceed. You have the option of naming your PC. This is optional. You can name it or click Skip for now. Choose how you will set up your device. Select Personal Use. You will be prompted to enter your Microsoft account information next. You can create one here if you do not have a Microsoft account. Use your personal email address, not your Conestoga email address. Create a PIN as a login option for your computer. This is a helpful extra security step. Choose your privacy settings for your device. Please note that Location, Find My Device, and Diagnostic Data are all turned on by default. Consider your privacy settings carefully. Customize your Windows experience by selecting how you plan to use your device. You can skip this step if you like. You will be prompted to try Microsoft Office 365 for free for one month. Consider skipping this step by selecting No Thanks. You can install Microsoft 365 for free after you set up Windows through your Conestoga Microsoft 365 account. Windows will check for any updates. Do not turn off your computer during these updates. Windows will finish processing and complete the setup after it checks for updates. You will be greeted with your login screen. You are now set up. Any settings options you skipped during this process can be updated in your device's settings menu. In this video, we toured the hardware, and walked through installing Windows 11. If you have any tech questions, please reach out to Teach Me Tech by email or by booking a face-to-face -face or virtual appointment through the Student Success Portal.